Disgruntled groups such as the Ovaherero Traditional Authority, the Affirmative Repositioning Movement, and the Landless People's Movement express their discontent with the conference and demonstrate it. We need to register our discontent. So the PC, Paramount Chief Veko Rukoro of the Ovaherero Traditional Authority, uh, gave us a marching order to say, we are not going to attend the fake conference, but because we were informed that the world media might also come, that we should go and show our discontent in a form of protest. And that is very much what has happened. And the president, Hage Kengop, he saw everybody that attended the conference saw because they, we, the people were deployed as strategic uh, places. So the world knows the embassies that are here in Namibia. They know the EU delegation, the British, the American embassy, the South African. Everybody knows that it's a fake conference. And when you convene under such conditions, even yourselves as a president, you don't feel secure because you know that a certain section of your community is out there with grievances. Even the Chinese government delivered a statement at our national land conference, which many Namibians questioned. John Grobler posted, have the Chinese taken over as advisors at the Ministry of Land Reform? I spoke to the Landless People's Movement's Henny Sebeb about this. Uh, uh, how do you invite China to come and talk about the land situation? Of course, we can learn experiences here and there, but we know Chinese don't give a damn about what is happening to Africans. Because if they had cared, they would have already solved armed conflict in Sudan and South Sudan. Because they are interested, they supply arms to Khartoum to kill uh, uh, the SPLM people. Why? Because they were black. So China does not have any regard to African people. For them, it's about natural resources because they have now identified after the last FOCAC meeting, Namibia is bankrupt, they don't have money. We are even borrowing small amounts like a 10 billion. So now China has realized that gap and they are saying, let's now take over. And I think China, in its strategic interest, is targeting Etosha, a uh, wild game park. I think that's their uh, uh, end game. Uh, the Americans wanted to buy it during the time of uh, Hifike Punye Pohamba. Pohamba, of course, did not read the, the, the contracts that was given to him by the Millennium Challenge account. He almost signed away Etosa. So it's the same thing that Hage regime is doing. Uh, they are inviting Chinese, and we know he has a dubious relationship, business relationship with Jack Wang. And I think maybe it's a Jack Wang's influence now. We are leading towards state capture, similar thing that we're witnessing in South Africa.